Think about your day. From the moment you wake up to the time you go to bed, countless systems are working behind the scenes to make your life easier and more comfortable. You wake up, grab a coffee, savoring that first sip as you prepare for the day ahead. Maybe you take the train to work, joining the throngs of commuters who rely on public transportation to get them where they need to go. Ever think about what's happening behind the scenes? The intricate dance of technology and human oversight that makes all this possible? What's making all that possible? The power that lights up your home, the water that flows from your tap, the products you use every day. I'll give you a hint. It's not magic, though it might seem like it. It's SCADA. This technology is the backbone of our modern infrastructure. SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. It's a sophisticated system that monitors and controls industrial processes. It's a fancy way of saying the system that runs our industrial world. Power grids, water treatment, manufacturing. All these critical services are managed by SCADA systems. Manufacturing, energy distribution and water management. It's all controlled by SCADA. These systems ensure that everything operates efficiently and safely. It's the invisible hand that keeps everything running smoothly. Without SCADA, the seamless operation of our daily lives would be impossible. We often don't notice SCADA systems. They're tucked away in factories and control rooms, quietly doing their job without fanfare. They're tucked away in factories and control rooms, quietly doing their job. These systems are the unsung heroes of our industrial world. But without them, our modern world would grind to a halt. Imagine a day without electricity, clean water or manufactured goods. Intrigued? Let's dive in and learn more about this hidden world. Discover how SCADA systems are the silent guardians of our infrastructure, ensuring everything runs smoothly and efficiently. SCADA systems weren't born overnight. They evolved, just like any other technology. Back in the early days, industrial control was all about relays and timers. Think clunky mechanical switches controlling machines, not exactly efficient. Then came the 1960s and the rise of computers. Suddenly, we could control industrial processes with software. This was a game changer. SCADA systems were born. Early SCADA systems were limited. They used proprietary protocols, meaning different systems couldn't talk to each other. But over time, things changed. Open standards emerged, allowing for better communication and interoperability. This paved the way for the sophisticated SCADA systems we rely on today. Imagine trying to talk to someone who speaks a different language. That's what it's like for machines without a common protocol. SCADA protocols are like translators. They allow different devices and systems to communicate with each other. There are many different SCADA protocols, each with its strengths and weaknesses. Some are designed for speed, others for reliability. Some are better suited for wired communication, others for wireless. Understanding these protocols is key to understanding how SCADA systems work. They're the backbone of communication, ensuring that data gets where it needs to go, when it needs to get there. Let's take a closer look at some of the most common protocols, Modbus, DNP3 and Profibus. Let's meet the heavy hitters of the SCADA world. First up, Modbus. It's like the old reliable pickup truck of protocols. Simple, robust and gets the job done. Modbus has been around since the late 1970s and has stood the test of time. Its simplicity makes it easy to implement and troubleshoot, which is why it's still widely used today. Modbus is widely used in industrial automation, especially for connecting simple devices like sensors and actuators. It operates on a master-slave or client-server architecture which means one device controls the communication while others respond. This makes it ideal for straightforward, repetitive tasks. Next, we have DNP3. Think of it as the workhorse of the power industry. Developed in the 1990s, DNP3 was designed to be more reliable and secure than its predecessors. It's particularly useful in environments where data integrity and security are paramount. DNP3 is known for its reliability and security, making it ideal for critical infrastructure like power grids and water treatment plants. It supports complex data types and time-stamped data, which is crucial for monitoring and controlling large-scale systems. 
Its ability to handle long-distance communication also makes it a favorite in remote locations. Finally, there's Profibus. This protocol is all about speed and efficiency. Introduced in the late 1980s, Profibus was designed to meet the demands of high-speed manufacturing environments. It supports fast data transfer rates, which is essential for real-time control and automation. It's often used in manufacturing environments where high-speed data transfer is crucial, like automotive assembly lines. Profibus can handle a large number of devices on a single network, making it highly scalable and flexible for various industrial applications. Each of these protocols has its own unique characteristics and applications. Modbus, DMP3 and Profibus each serve different needs and excel in different environments. Understanding their strengths and limitations is key to optimizing your SCADA system. Choosing the right one depends on the specific requirements of the system. Factors like the complexity of the tasks, the need for security and the speed of data transfer all play a role in this decision. By carefully evaluating these factors, you can ensure that your SCADA system operates efficiently and effectively. Section 5. The brains behind the Braun PLCs and ladder logic. SCADA systems are the overseers, but the real workhorses are the PLCs, or programmable logic controllers. These rugged little computers are the brains behind the operation taking instructions from the SCADA system and controlling the actual processes. How do we program these PLCs? Enter ladder logic. Imagine a diagram that looks like an electrical ladder. That's ladder logic. It uses symbols to represent electrical components like relays, timers and counters. Don't let the simplicity fool you though. Ladder logic is a powerful tool. It allows engineers to create complex control sequences, even if they don't have extensive programming experience. It's a visual and intuitive way to program industrial automation. Section 6. SCADA in action, real-world wonders. OK, enough theory. Let's see SCADA and PLCs in action. Picture a massive oil refinery. SCADA systems monitor every valve, pump and sensor, ensuring everything runs smoothly and safely. PLCs control the flow of oil, adjust temperatures and monitor for any potential issues. Or think about a modern water treatment plant. SCADA systems track water levels, chlorine levels and pump operation, keeping our drinking water clean and safe. PLCs control the chemical dosing, filtration and disinfection processes these are just a few examples. SCADA systems and PLCs are everywhere, working tirelessly behind the scenes to make our lives easier, safer and more efficient. Section 7. SCADA's impact. You use it every day. You might be thinking, that's cool, but how does SCADA affect me? How does this complex system of industrial control and data acquisition touch my everyday life? The answer is simple every single day in ways you might not even realize. SCADA systems are seamlessly integrated into the fabric of our daily routines. That traffic light you stopped at this morning, SCADA. It ensures the smooth flow of traffic, reducing congestion and improving safety on the roads. The elevator you rode up to your office, SCADA. It monitors and controls the elevator's operation, ensuring you get to your floor safely and efficiently. The power that keeps your lights on, you guessed it, SCADA. It manages the electrical grid, balancing supply and demand to keep your home and workplace illuminated. From the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, you're benefiting from the invisible hand of SCADA systems. They are the silent guardians of our modern conveniences. They keep our cities running, our factories producing and our lives comfortable. Imagine a day without SCADA. Traffic chaos, elevator malfunctions, power outages, it's a scenario we rarely consider thanks to the reliability of these systems. So next time you flip on a light switch or take a sip of water, take a moment to appreciate the complex network of SCADA systems and dedicated engineers working behind the scenes to make it all possible. They are the unsung heroes, ensuring that our daily lives run smoothly and efficiently, often without us even noticing. These systems are constantly monitored and maintained by skilled professionals who work tirelessly to prevent disruptions and improve performance. Their expertise and dedication are what keep our world turning, quite literally. 
As technology advances, SCADA systems will continue to evolve, becoming even more integral to our daily lives. They will help us build smarter cities, more efficient industries and a more sustainable future. So, the next time you enjoy a seamless day, remember the intricate web of SCADA systems making it all possible. Section 8. Keep exploring. The world of industrial control awaits. We've only scratched the surface of the fascinating world of SCADA and industrial control systems. There's so much more to learn about different protocols, PLC programming techniques and the latest advancements in automation technology. If this piqued your curiosity, don't stop here. There are countless resources available online and in libraries to delve deeper into this exciting field. You might even discover a passion for industrial automation you never knew you had. So go on, explore. The world of SCADA and industrial control is waiting to be discovered.